we have some cleaning up to do. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Sunday. Well, no, Saturday. Feels like a Sunday to me. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to another vlog and welcome back to my confessional. If you know, you know. I just had a few people visiting me for the week from back home. On one hand, I love having guests stay with me, but then at the same time, it like totally throws everything off for me. It throws off my routine and then I just feel like, oh my God, I need my own space. I get like so overwhelmed with just things everywhere. But yeah, they literally just left and I'm just like, oh, I need, I need a reset. The apartment really desperately needs to be cleaned. And my brother was here and like, I don't know, guys are just gross. Like my toilet right now, I don't even, yeah, so we're gonna do a little bit of a reset. We're gonna do some cleaning. I really need to go grocery shopping. I can't even remember the last time that I like actually cooked myself like a full proper meal. I've just been doing like quick stuff, going out to eat a lot, skipping meals a lot. Like it just hasn't been healthy. I feel like I have been all over the place. I just feel like I get overwhelmed and then it throws everything else off and then like my work and everything that's like really important to me gets put on the back burner. So this week we are getting our shit together. I feel like every vlog we're doing that. <laughs> and one of these days it will just, everything will stay good. I see people all the time online talking about romanticizing your life and having a main character moment, the main character of your life and all this shit and I honestly kind of roll my eyes at it a little bit but I do get it and I feel like this week that is what I need to do I need to just focus on myself and just do things for me and not worry about other people because I just honestly feel so burnt out between going out a lot and having people over this entire week I felt like because they were here to visit me I had to like constantly be entertaining and driving them around and showing them places and figuring out like what we're gonna do, where we're gonna go eat. The first thing we're doing is a face mask. This is the Ole Henriksen Fat Glow Facial. If you've been watching me for a while, you know this is one of my favorites. It's a go-to. It always just makes my skin look so glowy and beautiful. And something about doing a face mask, I don't know, it puts me in a good mood. It kind of makes me feel like I don't know, refresh, like I'm hitting the reset button. Next, I'm gonna put my sheets to wash. Well, if this isn't the most perfect day to just stay home and clean, I don't know what is. <laughs> Feral Pals Detectives. Location Pals Police said he went back there on his disappearance and he was doomed to death. And in July of that year, what they argued about or anything like that. So, my more than that, a serial killer who was found dead on the floor of the near gap between Ashley's murder and Good morning. Is it still morning? Yeah, barely. It's Monday. I did I vlog anything yesterday? I don't think so. I don't even remember like what I actually got clips of and what I didn't, but I cleaned most of my apartment. I still need to clean up the living room and vacuum, but I deep cleaned the bathroom. I did a shit ton of laundry. I did literally like five or six loads of laundry and I put most of it away. I still have I think like a couple of towels out that um i need to put away i deep cleaned the kitchen majority of my apartment is clean and then i edited and posted a video 
And then I just wanted to take the day. Like yesterday, for the most part, I did nothing because I just kind of like after a full week of just being around people and like going out and doing stuff every single day, I just needed one day to stay home by myself in silence and just like not do anything <laughs> and we also changed the clocks we pushed them an hour ahead yesterday so i am still like adjusting i don't know i wake up in the morning and i look at the time and i'm like why is it so late and then i remember oh it's because we changed the clocks so my body is still adjusting but last night i washed my hair i wrapped it up in the uh, belt of my robe so now i'm just gently kind of separating the curls normally when i'm wearing my hair naturally curly if i wash it in the morning i'll just let it air dry put a little like curl cream in it or something but if i wash my hair at night lately i've been wrapping it so then that way in the morning my curls are just like a little bit more defined and a little more tame anyway i really need to go grocery shopping today like i literally have no food in my fridge and i have been on a kick for a while now of just like going out to eat and just making like quick lazy meals at home and i haven't been eating the healthiest and i've mentioned this in previous vlogs but my anxiety was just really bad the last few weeks and because of it i just haven't been eating as much as i should when it's really bad like that i just don't have an appetite and then even when i do try to force myself to eat something i'll take like two bites and then i just physically like cannot do it like i just start to feel nauseous i don't know but i am feeling so much better i think after like that week of family time i don't know i just I feel better and I have been craving produce <laughs> so um, and I've actually been like really in the mood to cook which is crazy like I don't I don't know what happened like this I just feel so much better <laughs> and it's really nice and sunny outside today too so I'm just kind of looking forward to going out taking a little bit of a drive and then when I get back home I want to do an at-home workout because I've been going on walks and stuff it's not like I have been completely inactive but I just feel like the only thing I've really been doing is walking which is good for you but I just want to like activate my muscles a little bit more I'd love to kind of tone these legs up a little bit more for summer you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go get dressed here is the fit Figured if I'm already in workout clothes, then it'll just make it easier for me once I get back to just do my little workout. Sweatshirt is from Zara, Adidas workout leggings, Adidas sneakers. These are the Oswegos, and uh, I really need to clean them. They are looking a little dirty, but yeah. Bag is from Target. I know you guys ask about this a lot. I got it last year and I haven't seen it in stores in a long time. So I don't know if it's still available. That's the outfit. And uh, yeah, I didn't make my bed. Sorry. You now that bothers some people so much, like every so often, I will get a comment that's like, make your bed. Why? Never made my bed growing up. Like I, I, I get that for some people, it's like part of their morning routine and it makes them feel like, more productive or whatever and sometimes I will do that if I'm really like trying to have one of those like perfect days where I'm like oh everything's all good I have all my shit together then sometimes I'll make it but 99.9% .9 of the time I don't because I'm like I live alone nobody especially if I know no one's coming over no one's gonna see my bed yeah you see it in the vlogs but like also I'm not gonna just make my bed just because I'm vlogging because then that would be fake. Like I try to really just capture like my real life. Um, and like, I'm just gonna get in it again in a few hours. Like I, I just personally don't see a point in doing it. And I don't understand why it bothers some people so much. Like if you like the look of a made bed, make your own. Don't worry about mine. 
it's in the background like just ignore it you'll you'll survive i promise all right when you go to the store i'm not gonna bring you along because it's just gonna be too too chaotic um, i'm not even gonna put that pressure on myself to try to vlog in the store um because i have a lot of stuff to get i have a nice long list <laughs> so i will just do a haul and show you what i get once i'm back Like I got my workout in already <laughs> between walking around all those stores and then carrying all this stuff up all the stairs that is the one pro of being on the top floor and not having an elevator it's a workout carrying all this stuff up here so I went to Target I'll show you that stuff last so I can just put this cold stuff away first um, and then I went to Whole Foods because I haven't been there in a while and every so often I just kind of like to poke around in there and see what they have. I don't usually do all my grocery shopping in there because uh, it can be kind of expensive for certain things depending. But yeah, so I went there and then I also went to the regular grocery store. So I got some regular milk to have with my cereal, my magic spoon. They sent me so much. I might be including the sponsorship in this video later, but I've been working with them for like the last month or so and they sent me so many boxes of cereal and I really legitimately like it. So I literally just got the milk to have that with. And then I got some regular unsweetened coconut milk for my smoothies, eggs, cucumbers, which I actually think I'm gonna cut one up and have that on the side with my lunch. I also got some grape tomatoes, spinach for my smoothies. Half and half for my morning coffee. Got some pretzel thins. I was really, really craving hummus with pretzel thins. I don't know why. Also got some pineapple because again, I haven't had it in a while and I was craving it. I actually am allergic to pineapple so I can't eat a lot of it at once because it does kind of make my mouth and throat kind of itchy. And if I have too much, it like my throat closes up a tiny bit. But I... <laughs> I've never had like a bad enough reaction where I needed to like where like I couldn't breathe or anything So I think it's okay for me to eat it in moderation. Then I needed some more olive oil I got the Olive Garden Italian dressing because it is so good and I've kind of been in the mood to Have some salads lately some soy sauce because I realized I don't have any Italian parsley, baby carrots. I have been snacking on these like crazy. That's like, I don't know what it is. It's like as soon as the weather warms up, I just start craving baby carrots. Oh, I can't explain it. And then from Whole Foods, I got some sushi. Cause again, I was just craving it and it looked really good. I got a crunchy Cali roll and an avocado cucumber roll. So I'm gonna have this for lunch because I haven't had anything to eat yet um, and I think I'll probably cut up maybe like half of a cucumber and have that. Then I got some frozen salmon fillets, some ground turkey. I'm going to make baked Italian meatballs later tonight. That's what I got the parsley for also. I got some alfalfa sprouts. These have so many good health benefits. I don't really find that they have much of a taste, but I like the crunch of them. So super easy to just throw into like a sandwich, a wrap, um, an omelet, salad. Ooh, I got these cookies because I always like to keep something sweet just in case. But these just looked and sounded so good. They're brown butter chocolate cookies. <sighs> then I got some broccoli, which I am planning on having with my dinner with the um, meatballs tonight. And then I got two big things of coconut water. I love coconut water. And then I got a huge thing of spring mix for my salads. And I swear every time I buy lettuce or spring mix or anything like that, I never, it's rare that I actually finish it before it all starts like wilting and going bad. So I am making a promise to myself that I'm gonna finish that big giant thing by next week before it goes bad. Got a big thing of strawberries. Um, and that was everything grocery wise. I'm gonna put the cold stuff away and then I'll show you what I got from Target. All right, so from Target, I got 
a shower caddy because I need one. Then we got some flushable wipes, some makeup remover wipes, liquid IV, which I've actually never tried before, but I've heard so many good things. And I figured with summer coming up soon and you know, like on the weekends, I've kind of been going out and drinking and stuff. So I thought this would be a good thing to have around just in case. Um, and I think they just come in like little packets. Yeah, so this is perfect. I can literally just keep a couple in my purse. And I wasn't sure what flavor to get. They had a few different options. I got the passion fruit one. I don't know, hopefully it tastes okay. I got some more body wash. This is the one I've been using lately, the Olay Cleansing and Firming with Collagen. And then I got another giant bottle of the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I love this stuff. I literally slather my entire body with this every time I get out of the shower. A loofah and some bobby pins because I have like two bobby pins right now. I don't, I have no idea where the rest of them went. So, and these seemed cool. They're a no slip grip. So they're not like the shiny typical bobby pins. They have like a matte finish. All things like that that can honestly just change how your day goes. Can we make it? So excited I know these don't look very appealing they actually look kind of disgusting but I wish you guys could smell it in here oh my god it smells so good so you saw everything that I put in here just some ground turkey a bunch of seasoning an egg some breadcrumbs some fresh Italian parsley and some minced garlic and then I just steamed some broccoli put a little bit of butter and some Parmesan cheese on top and that's going to be my dinner. And I have a bunch of meatballs and broccoli left over. So this will be super easy and quick to just heat up throughout the week. Oh, and I also did a little workout earlier, as you saw. I did a Chloe Ting workout on YouTube. Um, it was an all lower body, like butt and legs workout. And it was only like 13 or 14 minutes long super quick, but it was perfect and one thing I've mentioned this before but One thing that I really am trying to do is Exercise and get my body moving but not do it as a form of punishment and not feel like oh It has to be at least an hour long or otherwise There's no point in doing it like me a few years ago would have been like a 13 minute workout like that's that's not a full workout you need to at least do like three of those for it to really like be worth it and be a real workout and now I'm like no fuck that if that's all I feel like doing then that's all I'm gonna do but it's better than me doing absolutely nothing and just sitting around you know anyway I'm gonna eat my dinner now um, and maybe look for another movie to watch on Netflix. Last night I watched The Adam Project on Netflix with Ryan Reynolds. It was really good. Not like, oh my god, the best movie I've ever seen in my entire life, but it was pretty cute and it was entertaining and it was one of those movies where I was, it, it had my attention the entire time. Like I did not pick up my phone uh, one single time throughout the movie. So if you're looking for something kind of like lighthearted to watch, Adam Project. Highly recommend. 
taking a second to interrupt this vlog to tell you about today's sponsor, Magic Spoon. It's a healthier alternative if you miss the nostalgia of sweet cereals that you used to eat growing up. This is like the grown-up version of it. You get the same kind of taste, but without the guilt. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. They're also only 140 calories per serving. They are keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. It is so good. Like, I can't even explain it to you, and you would never know. Like, I honestly can't tell the difference between this and, like, regular brand name fruity cereal, you know? It's got the same sweet flavor, the same crunch. So if you want to try out Magic Spoon for yourself, go ahead and check out the description. Click that link to try out a variety pack. I highly, highly recommend the fruity flavor though. So you can use code SAMVEY to get $5 off any order. And you don't have to worry, they're so confident in their product that they are backed by a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like the cereal for any reason, you can send it back, no questions asked, and get a full refund. So yeah, check out the description for the link and my code. And thank you so much Magic Spoon for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I'm gonna go finish eating the rest of this I'll let you guys continue on with the vlog. So in addition, my client... Good morning. It's Tuesday. I just watched the season finale of How I Met Your Father. It was good. I keep going back and forth. Like, the first few episodes, I was like, oh my god, I love this show. It's like so cute, lighthearted. Then towards the middle, I was like, okay, this is getting a little bit corny. But... The last episode was really good. There were a couple characters from How I Met Your Mother, and that was exciting for me, because I love that show, and uh, I nerd out over it. Um, anyway, I ordered a whole bunch of bathing suits, and they came in this morning, and I'm so excited. I don't think I've bought a new bathing suit in a while. I have like three that I have just been wearing constantly the last few summers and they're all basically the exact same swimsuit just in different colors like the strapless bandeau top and then high-waisted bottoms and i love that look but I'm getting a little tired of it and i was like you know it, especially now that i live by the beach i feel like i'm gonna wear bathing suits way more often this summer than i normally have in the past so i was like i need some more need some newer ones and a little more variety. I wanna change it up a little bit. So I got a bunch from Shein. I normally don't purchase things from there because I know in the past people have told me like, you shouldn't support their company, fast fashion, etc., etc. Just when it comes to bathing suits, especially purchasing them online, I don't want to get one that's super expensive if I can't try it on in person and I don't know A, if I'm gonna like it or B, if it's gonna fit properly and all of that. And the ones on Shein are just so inexpensive. So I'm sorry that I'm not perfect, but I wanted to show you the ones I got because honestly, I don't even remember what I ordered. We're gonna unbox them together. Um, this one I think, yeah, is a set. So, oh, it's a one piece. I didn't even remember that. So we have this plunging low cut one piece. I love the pattern and the colors, so fun. And then it comes with a little skirt, which is so freaking cute. I think this one is also a one piece. This little red number, very Baywatch. This one, crisscrosses it, it's hard to tell until you see it on me and then I honestly don't even remember what this is oh another one piece I guess oh yeah, yeah yeah okay I think I remember this I thought this was cool with the like ruching and again really low cut I think the last two are two pieces so this is the pattern of this one high-waisted bottoms and the top for this Ooh, I'm gonna have to look at the picture <laughs> it's another like crisscross kind of thing and then oh my god this one I'm so excited about I always wanted to try a top like this because it just I don't know it always looks good in pictures I don't know about in real life but hopefully it fits but how beautiful is this color? And then it comes with 
the high-waisted scrunched up bottoms which I thought would be really flattering since it has this like extra ruched material maybe it'll give a little like extra tummy coverage I definitely have to play around with the top on this one because it's kind of weird and it does not feel secure at all. I like the bottoms. I like this like ruched situation. I feel like it's very flattering for the tummy area. Okay, wait a damn minute. And look how freaking cute and it fits way better. It's way more secure and yeah. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I love this one. It could be a little bit risky up here um, if you were like actually trying to swim, but cute and kind of unique. I am obsessed with this one. So freaking cute. And I could even see myself wearing this just as like a bodysuit with some jeans or something. And I love how the material is thick enough that you can't see my belly button or anything through it that's the one thing about one pieces that i hate is when the fabric is like really thin and weird and you can just see right through it and see every like little lump and bump i feel like that's so unflattering and kind of like defeats the whole purpose of wearing a one piece this one is mm, probably my least favorite which i'm surprised by because i was really excited about it i just feel like it the way that it's cut it makes me look like i have no waist and it makes me look very top heavy. And also there's like, because it cuts in so much on the side, like, yeah, good side boob, I guess, but that is very dangerous. Like there's nothing keeping it in place. Like I absolutely will have a nip slip in this. Like absolutely. I'm still gonna try to get use out of the skirt because I think it's cute, but yeah, I don't know. Here's this one. Um, I don't know, I feel really weird, like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Looking at it in person, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute, but then looking at it through the viewfinder on the camera, I feel like it just looks kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't know. But what's cool about this top, this is the way that the model is wearing it in the pictures on the website, but what's cool about it is it's just basically like one piece that you can kind of tie however you want so I don't have to wear it this way wait how cute is this see I could tie the straps down a little bit and do it like a strapless moment and then mix and match with the green bottoms cute it is a few hours later and I am about to record an episode of my podcast so me and one of my best friends have a podcast together if you guys haven't listened to it yet I will have a link to it in the description uh, we upload an episode every Thursday and it's just girl talk the topics we talk about it's like literally whatever you would probably talk about with your girlfriends like Sometimes we talk about dating and sex related stuff. Um, we did an episode on body image. We talked about like the pressures of getting older and feeling like you don't have life figured out yet. Things like that. And it's really, really fun, especially because we both moved around the same time in opposite directions from each other. I moved down to North Carolina. She moved up to New York. So we are pretty far from each other and I haven't seen her in person since the summertime. So it's kind of cool that this gives us an opportunity to catch up with each other and then we get to make a fun podcast out of it. And it's been just like a really fun passion project that we've been wanting to do for years now. And it kind of just became like the perfect time. So yeah, I thought I would show you a little behind the scenes of how we do it. Honestly, we don't have any kind of like professional setup. This is probably like very ghetto, <laughs> but it works. And I think that our recordings sound pretty good and pretty professional considering like we have no idea what we're doing really. So normally we actually record our episodes Sunday mornings, but she is about to go on vacation for her birthday to Italy. So we are kind of pre-recording a couple episodes. So. We're about to do one right now. The way we do it is she 
FaceTimes me so that way we can see each other and hear each other. And then I put in my AirPods so that way when I'm recording myself, it's not picking up her voice and there isn't an echo. And she just does the same thing on her end. Um, so we FaceTime and then I record my audio directly into GarageBand. That's the program that I use to record and to edit our audio um, and to create like the, you know, MP3 file. And then she just records it as a voice memo in her phone and then she emails it to me. And then I just overlay her audio on top of mine. We don't use any like fancy microphones or anything like that. Um, just the internal microphones in our devices. I'm in charge of doing the editing portion of it because I have like experience with that kind of stuff so it's pretty easy for me and then she mostly runs the Instagram page and she's like kind of our producer in a way like she comes up with I mean we d we discuss and we like agree on stuff but she usually will come up with the topics that we're going to talk about that week and if it's something that you know like we got questions for on Instagram or we did a poll or something like that she is the one that like does all of that stuff and like pulls it all up and all that um, and right now we don't have it monetized or anything like it's literally just something that we're doing as a hobby for fun hopefully you know as it grows and we get more listeners maybe we can monetize it one day that would be really cool um, but yeah we you know try to split the workload of it 50 50 as much as we can but she also works a nine-to-five office job and I have way more free time during the week so I don't mind um, editing and uploading the episodes because you know it's not a big deal I can do it relatively quickly and I have the time for it and I like to do it in my room I'm actually gonna shut the door because I there's less of an echo in my bedroom got my laptop on this little stool so I can keep it pretty close to me so this week I think our episode is gonna be about hygiene and like um, grooming body hair that kind of stuff because we got a few questions on Instagram about that so yeah it should be fun I'm gonna let her know that I'm ready so she can FaceTime and then we'll get started so this is what it looks like on my end I have garage band up which is gonna be recording me I'll have my phone here with her when she calls me in a second my AirPod in so that I can hear her but it's not coming out of my phone and my computer can't pick up her audio oh and I also like to keep a drink close by just in case because sometimes when you're talking a lot your throat gets a little dry so yeah go give us a listen our podcast is called girls who get it podcast um, and you can follow us on Instagram too. We post a lot of fun stuff on there and we do a lot of polls and Q and A's and pretty much every episode that we've done so far, we've included um, feedback or questions or stories from our Instagram followers. It's a pretty cool like interactive thing and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Can I help you? Oh my God. I'm vlogging behind the scenes of our recording. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me excited for like summer coming up and I'm just like refocused now on like work and just living my life, focusing on myself, all that kind of stuff. Just finished filming, not filming, recording the podcast a little while ago. It ends up taking so long the actual recording itself is usually like about an hour and a half but we just talk so much before we start and like catch up and everything um you know talk about like how we want to go about the topic like how we want to start it and that kind of stuff and then after we finish recording we always have more stuff to talk about it's honestly so nice though it's something that i look forward to every week just catching up with her and doing that it's really been so fun and I'm very happy that people have been enjoying it so yeah like I said I'll have the link in the description we are on Apple Podcasts and also Spotify and if you don't have either one of those you can just listen to it online on Anchor but I would really appreciate it if you guys would give it a listen I know that some of the topics maybe aren't for everybody but we talk about a variety of different things so even if some of like the more raunchy things aren't like your cup of tea um, there are other 
episodes that I think are like relatable for everybody. But while I was talking to her, I ate my dinner. I just heated up the rest of those turkey meatballs. I had that for lunch earlier today too. So heated up the rest of that, the meatballs and the broccoli. And now I'm about to have one of these cookies as my dessert. And I wanted to give you an update because I had one yesterday too. Oh, so good. I'm gonna have this and then get ready for bed. It's like nine o'clock now, so I'm probably not gonna go to sleep right away, but I think I'm gonna wind down, watch some Netflix or something like that. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I feel absolutely disgusting. I just spent the morning finishing cleaning my apartment and doing like things that I had been putting off for a while. I had washed my curtains. I need to hang those back up. I vacuumed, cleaned out my shampooer, stuff like that. And I feel so good because now my place, really, my place is now officially completely clean and it feels so good. I've been slowly like deep cleaning all week. Um, well, I mean, it's only Wednesday, so it's not bad, but it's finally all done and I am so disgusting. I'm so sweaty. I look absolutely disgusting. So I'm gonna hop in the shower now and we're gonna do a little glow up. Feeling so much better. I showered, shaved, exfoliated the whole nine yards. Um, did my hair with my bedhead waver and I love this hairstyle because it lasts me so long and I feel like as the days go on and like the more I sleep on it and stuff it just becomes even more lived in and natural looking and then I did a self tan I tinted my lashes I am currently making myself a late lunch early dinner we got some quinoa cooking my salmon just finished Ooh, cooking salmon in the air fryer is like the best thing ever because it's so easy and so fast and then i have some avocado that i'm gonna have with that on the side and this is the quinoa mix that i'm making i love this roasted red pepper and basil flavor so good and it's so quick and easy to make and then i'm just gonna do a little salad on the side with some of that olive garden italian dressing that i got the other day but i'm just gonna wrap up this vlog here i was editing it last night and i didn't realize how much footage i had and how long it was i think this is a good place to end off i will start a new vlog very soon so stay tuned for that don't forget to check the description for my link and code to magic spoon and also the link to my podcast if you guys want to follow me a little bit more and kind of see like what I'm up to when I'm not on YouTube, feel free to follow my personal Instagram page, Sam underscore Bay, and I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!